fancy intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Hey everybody, welcome back to another Star Trek Fleet Command video, where today we're giving the answers to the latest espionage series of questions, counterintelligence, even doing it a little bit different than we had before. I do have to make a quick comment about the Celestial Prospector event, just because it's been on a lot of people's minds. The scoring is working correctly, however, who it's getting applied to is hit or miss right now. But FYI, it is working. For some people, it's applying only to the Admiral. For some people, it's been applying some of the scoring to a random member, but it is scoring, and I just want to make sure that y'all are aware of that. Yes, I know it's annoying, blah, 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 blah. I get it. I, I really do. But at the end of the day, it's working. That's what you care about, right? Right? Right. Because things don't break in this game. Ever. <laughs> Ever. Anyway, let's move over to the espionage event like i said we're going to do this one a little bit different and i'm very curious to see and comments get ready on whether or not you like this style but start off with counterintelligence one the only real critique i have is why is the artwork marcus why, why is marcus the artwork but anyway this is one where you have to match quotes shout out to the dev team i love this style like this hardcore star trek trivia stuff personally this is the type of thing that i'd love to see more of in the game but the quote is, well, I guess this means the end of our Starfleet careers. You have to then know where that came from. And here's where the change to this method we're doing comes where, bam, right here. This is actually from the search part two. And this quote has, <laughs> this is a really good episodes that they chose for these quotes. But anyway, this is a Bashir quote. And this is the episode, I encourage you to go check out the episode from one of the earlier seasons, but this is one of my favorite dynamics in Star Trek, the Bashir Garrick dynamic. So anyway, that means since it's Bashir, here's where you gotta go. Right here, gotta go destroy one hostile in Sokia. It's a random like this baby level eight system in the middle of nowhere, which always seems to be where they choose to send y'all. So, but if you just go to your search here, type in Sokia and you'll find it right here in your map. Oh, I'm sorry, it was level nine system below Wanul, below Wanul. So, Let's go back up and we're gonna to go to number two now. Counterintelligence, again, don't understand why Mark is here. Match the quote to the person, I know how much your career means to you. Now this again is to me a great quote because of who it involves. Really curious to know how many other people kind of know this one coming in, but this is going to be Jadzia Dax talking to Lieutenant Commander Worf and the romance that these two have is one of my favorite aspects about Deep Space Nine. I love this. and. Obviously, it sucks that Terry Farrell didn't return to the show in the last seasons or anything, but this was just such a fantastic couple. Probably my favorite power couple in all of Trek. Second behind only Orc and Grilka. But anyway, it's from the episode Change of Heart. So if we go back over here, now that we know it's Jadzia, we need to go destroy one hostile in Mari. M-A-R-I. Mari. Not Mori, where they go for DNA tests, but Mari. Which actually, that might be how it's pronounced. Anyway, so anyway, type it in here, click, click, and there you go. And then another random system, an easy way to spot. Look at all these people who are like level 50 down in this level nine system for no reason. That's kind of a giveaway. Again, really close to some of the systems you're familiar with, like Wanul. Moving on to number three now. Number three on your espionage event is going to be. What kind of people give those orders? Now, this might be one of the heaviest moments in all of Star Trek. And what I mean by heaviest moments, this is hands down emotional. And just this is towards the end of Deep Space Nine, where it's getting ready to wrap up. But this is a comment by Kira Norris. But Damar has just been informed that his family was murdered by the Dominion because of the rebellion. And he's just in here like, who would do something like that? What kind of people? And then Kira just hits him with this hard gut shot of, yeah, what kind of people would give those orders? Talking to a Cardassian is a very heavy moment. And that's why I love this Q&A, not Q&A, this, this event pattern, because it's going into some really deep, good Trek lore. But anyway, it comes from Kira, so we need to go destroy one hostile in Aum. A-U-M, Aum. Again, I'm sorry, I'm nerding out because the level of like Trek lore in this, it's not just like, ooh, who did this? It's actual quotes and brings up episodes and that just, well, as you can see, it excites me. So AUM is going to be right here. Once again, above one Newell, same kind of bracket 
area. So moving on to number four, halfway through now. Number four encounter intelligence is going to be I'm not Picard. And this is probably the easiest one in this set. Almost everybody, even if you're a baby DS9 fan, you recognize this one. This is obviously Cisco. It's when he punched Q in the face from the episode Q less. One of the very few early episodes of DS9 that I actually like. Like very early seasons of DS9, I'm, I'm kind of hit or miss on. Basically, seasons four through seven are like fantastic. Seasons one through three are kind of eh to me. But this is a little bit earlier, coming out in 1993. So this is when he punches Q in the face, which I will admit, I liked that moment. Now that was Cisco. So now we got to go destroy one hostile in Donfo. One hostile in Donfo, which would be A in that instance. So if you go over to your map, get your search coordinates, which, man, you new players don't understand. We didn't used to have this. This is so, you could not do this event. Without us. But anyway, Tritanium system, system right there, Donfo, and then there's Winul again. So staying in the same bracket and same range. Moving on to question number five here for your counterintelligence. Click it. By the way, counterintelligence, the name would have been a great time to just have like a Garrick art there. Just FYI, Scopely. All right, so the way I see it, there are two possibilities either everything will be fine or we end up blowing the station to pieces. Now, this is going to be a quote from Miles. This is from O'Brien from the episode, The Way of the Warrior in 1995. Now, I scroll down. I think it's, yeah, it's this one right here. I want to make sure it's there on your screen. So it's in this quote box right here, but you see it's from The Way of the Warrior. But Miles O'Brien just talking about just, I don't want to take up too much time. I'm just giving you the episodes and I actually would love if y'all rewatched the episodes and got kind of really into the lore of this event today. Maybe we'll watch you some D Space Nine, but the answer is Miles. So go to doo doo. <laughs> I have a child. I have a child because it said doo doo. <laughs> the system you got to go to is doo doo. <laughs> okay, it's kind of like the system that's called Crack Whore. Anyway, moving on uh, to, to finding doo doo right here. <laughs> This is actually a little bit further away from your normal set that we've been at so far. Now we'll move to number six on your event list, leaving doo-doo behind. So number six is healthy body, healthy mind. This one's a little bit harder because it's just kind of so generic. Probably not one of the biggest quotes I think of when I think of various characters in D Space Nine, but this is a quote from Nog. And so you have to go mind dilithium, which I did make this comment to the ops team that there's not a lot of dilithium nodes in low level space. That one's kind of a little bit of annoying, but this is from the episode called The Ascent, which is actually mostly focused on Odo and Quark and their character development. It's a really good episode, in my opinion, but this is actually when Nog and Cisco or Jake Cisco are having a conversation and um, they're living together at the time as roommates. And oh, it's like college, but on a space station. Anyway, now that we know that it's not, I've got to go mine one dilithium. The system that I use, and the one that has the most kind of like dilithium handy, is Miroski, which is over here by uh, Territory Space. This system right here, it's a level 10. Everybody can get to it. I'm sorry, Murasaki, not Murasaki, Murasaki. That's what I typically would go to in this case. Moving on to number seven here in our events tab. Come on, open up the pattern. There we go. Number seven is going to be, I should have it memorized, but I don't. All right, I don't know about you, but I call that a bargain. Now, this is another quality episode. Uh, it's actually probably one of the better known DS9 episodes. I would think so. But this is from In the Pale Moonlight. Now, I am um, partial to Garrick, but he might be my favorite character in all of D Space Nine, which is saying something because there's so many amazing characters. But this is going to mean that you got to go mine some G2 Crystal. There's a lot of places you can find that. Uh, one of the places that I typically go is Nelf, and I can show you where that is on the map. So if we back out real quick, go to Nelf. But if you just hit your little, you know, mind button, you can kind of see where everything's at. But Nelf is going to be right here. So here's Nelf, just kind of right between uh, the augment space and the eclipse space, like right in the middle. You also have a couple of others, like Lycia is a crystal system right here for two star. And then let's just go ahead and move on to the final one, number eight for your espionage event. Now this one, I honestly couldn't remember what particular episode this was uh, from. That's the meta button, where's eight? There we go. Which is, I have my eye on you, Corp, but 
also very obvious. Like, you know who it's from. This is obviously the Odo character. Now, one thing about this, and I really wish I could remember the episode. For all the others, I could find it, but I just didn't remember this one. But I remember the next line, like, he says that to Quark, and then Quark, as Jadzia is walking by, he says, and I have my eye on you, Jadzia, which I think just about everybody in this uh, Star Trek fandom has had their eye on Jadzia because she is a beautiful, intelligent, and amazing character. Not to mention she's got like 18 people with the symbiote. Not that bad. But anyway, now because we know it's Odo, we got to go mine G2. Or, and if you chose to go to like Lycia, then you need to just go right over to your east to Labak or to your west in Devon. And that will complete your circuit. You have now completed the counter espionage event. And you now know all the answers to these Space Nine questions. Hopefully this video helps you out. Live long and prosper. They stay up with their space cowboys. Deuces, that's me. Catch you on the next one. Join the Discord. And uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out and thanks for um, <laughs> going through some Star Trek trivia with me. An even better outro than the intro. For the Empire and glory to your house.